Unions say the latest decision by the Fair Work Commission involving Collie coal mine workers will open the floodgates for multinationals and other companies wanting to slash wages and conditions. The full bench of the Commission has upheld an earlier decision, which effectively cut the pay of some workers at the Griffin coal mine by up to 43 per cent. The close-knit community of Collie has been rallying behind the 70 maintenance workers since the original decision came down. They've been waiting anxiously on an appeal, but the result hasn't gone their way. Unions say all workers should be deeply concerned. I can guarantee that every multinational company now will be knocking on the door of the Commission. The full bench of the Commission has upheld an earlier decision to scrap the workers' EBA and revert to award conditions. For them, it means a pay cut of 43 per cent, about $55,000 a year. After a year of failed negotiations on a new EBA, Griffin Cole successfully argued overly generous conditions were making it impossible for the company to turn a profit and expand. The pay cut won't take effect until a stay on the order is lifted by the Commission. If we have to get in the trenches to win this, we will. Unions say companies, large and small, have been watching the case closely and say some have already made reference to it during negotiations with employees. I think that this is a matter that the federal government needs to closely look at. Are we saying that it's acceptable for working people to experience cuts in their pay of up to 43% uh, because a, a company has sought to cancel an agreement? Steve McCartney says the maintenance workers were prepared to accept a 10 per cent pay cut but the company wasn't interested. Griffin Cole didn't respond to calls but has previously said it will continue to negotiate a new agreement. The Commission will reconvene on Monday to discuss when workers will revert to award conditions. Rebecca Carmody, ABC News.